Hello! In today's video we will create a blueprint effect from a photo. Our example subject will be this cool looking Audi. I guess it's a A1 model. Anyway, the end result will be as good looking as this car, I hope. So, first thing is to get a blueprint background. Let me quickly paste that and move it behind the car image. Next, we need a mask to remove the background. I already did the boring work of masking, so let me enable it. Now we have done the setup. Let's start making adjustments to create the blueprint effect. First, as always, let's duplicate the layer we will be working on. Next step is to apply the detect edges filter from the filter detect menu. The result is a nice outline which will be the base for the blueprint effect. Before we continue, let's add a curves adjustment layer to clean it up and make the blacks darker and the whites stronger. Let's move the curves layer to the image so it gets clipped. The image has still color. By adding a black and white adjustment we can remove the colors and make the white a bit stronger by adjusting the individual colors. Next step is to invert it with an invert adjustment layer. We are now almost there. Let's put the blend mode to divide to get the blueprint effect we are looking for. Of course, let's not forget to turn off the original image to see our result. There we have it. We can fine tune it by adding a recolor adjustment to make the white lines fit better with the background. And as a finishing touch, another curves layer above the black and white layer to make the effect even stronger. I have found out that setting the blend mode of this curves layer to glow works best. Now it is possible that the outline does contain some lines which do not fit. We can remove them by masking the blueprint layer and paint with black on the areas we want to be removed. As a final step, we can give the blueprint a bit more body by enabling the original image and converting it to black and white. Let's then adjust the opacity so it gives the subtle touch to the outline. We can also add a recolor adjustment so the shadows are more bluish. Let's zoom out to see the final result. Maybe make it a little bit smaller and add some interesting text to wrap it up. Pretty cool. I hope you liked this video and until next time.